Hey everybody, it's Austin again, and we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today, not including the Tundra, but including our little guy camper. So we're just gonna do a little prep while we're in the garage and it's cold outside, and I wanna make sure that I get this, this hub greased up because the guy that previously owned it, who we bought it from, said he only greased them every couple of years, which I don't think's uh, regularly enough. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the hub cap off and uh, get the, the hub and bearings greased up just to make sure that uh, we're good to go down the road when we decide to go camping. We got the heater on, stay warm. And we've got 15 inch wheels here on the, the little guy camper with uh, 175, 80, oh, 13 inch wheels. Aha, look at me speaking incorrectly. Um, but we got pretty decent wheels on here with with good tread on the tires. And uh, I'm excited to get everything taken care of on it. All right, so the first step with taking these little hubcaps off is there's a screw down here that you have to undo. The first time I did this, I did not know that and almost broke it. So i got to go ahead and get that taken off. And it pops right off. And then I was gonna go ahead and put some bearing buddies on here because I didn't think that it had it. But if you just look in there, there's this little silicone cover. Pop that off. So bam, you got a grease zerk. So all we have to do is throw a grease gun on there and grease up the bearing. So let me grab my super cheap, really crappy Harbor Freight grease gun, and we'll go ahead and grease that up. All right, so since we're greasing this trailer up, uh, but I also have a John boat, the new grease I got is marine grease from Harbor Freight, little three ounce bottle because I got the super cheap dinky grease gun from Harbor Freight. I do not recommend it because the attachment gets stuck on grease zerks all the time and it's a pain in the butt so don't get it but it's what i have so that's what we're going to use so go ahead and put it on there until it starts squishing out old grease you gotta unscrew the end to get it to come off Oh, well, see, that's what happens when you buy a crappy grease gun. All right, so you can see down in the bearing now, I put in the green grease, and the red is coming out. So, I hope I got it in there well. I'm going to be honest, this is only my second time doing bearings. I did them on my John boat, but I think I got, got it in there. It looks... It looks uh, lubed up enough in there. So let me know down in the comments if you think there's something else I need to do. Um, but I think it looks okay. All right, so as you can see, that's how you grease up the bearings on a small trailer um, if you have a bearing buddy type system on here. So like I said, let me know down in the comments if uh, there's something I need to do differently. I'd love to hear from people who um, are well versed in this area 